So you getting married today? I'm getting married. Wow. So, about a half hour. Are you excited? I'm excited. It doesn't feel real. I know I keep saying that, but it just feels like I'm getting ready to DJ somebody else's wedding, I think. But I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. So how did you and Tara meet? I used to work at an electronics store and she came in one day to buy a stereo for her mom's birthday and uh, she bought a stereo and I got her phone number <laughs> and that was that. And when did you know that she was the one? Uh, for a while, but it's taken a long time to get here because I'm a guy and uh, I'm slow sometimes. But uh, yeah, I've known for a while, just had to get ready to, to do it. So, But I'm excited, can't wait. Yep, that's good. Okay. All right, big guy, let's go get married. <laughs> Who gives this woman in marriage today? Her mother. I give her the stay in marriage. Thank you.
true marriage is more than the joining the bonds of marriage of two persons. In its right relation, it is the uniting of two souls already attuned to each other. When such a bond already exists between man and woman, it is fitting that an outer acknowledgement be made. This acknowledgement is the prime object of this gathering and this ceremony. We are here to bear witness to the entry into the closer relationship of husband and wife of these beloved friends who are already one in spirit. You are now taking into your care and keeping the happiness of the one person in all the world that you love the best. You are adding to your life not only the affection of each other, but also the companionship and blessing of a deep trust as well. You are agreeing to share strength, responsibilities, and to share love. At the end of this ceremony, legally, you will be husband and wife. But you still must decide each and every day that stretches before you that you want to be married. Make such a decision and keep on making it for the most important thing in life is to love and to be loved. Adam. Yes. Do you take Tara to be your, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Well, Adam, please repeat after me. Go for it. <laughs> I, Adam, take you, Tara. I, Adam, take you, Tara. To be my friend, my lover. To be my friend, my lover. The mother of my children and my wife. The mother of my children and my wife. I will be yours in times of plenty. I will be yours in times of plenty. And in times of want. And in times of want. In times of sickness. In times of sickness. And in times of health. And in times of health. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of sorrow. In times of sorrow. <coughs> in times of failure. In times of failure. And in times of triumph. And in times of triumph. I promise to cherish and respect you. I promise to cherish and respect you. To care and protect you. To care and protect you. To comfort and encourage you. To comfort and encourage you. To stay with you for all eternity. To stay with you for all eternity. Tara, do you take Adam to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Tara, please repeat after me. I, Tara, take you, Adam. I, Tara, take you, Adam. To be my friend, my lover. To be my friend, lover. The father of my children and my husband. The father of my children and husband. I will be yours in times of plenty. I will be yours in time of plenty. And in times of want. And in times of want. In times of sickness. And in times of sickness. And in times of health. And in times of health. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of failure and in times of triumph. In times of failure and in times of triumph. I promise to cherish and respect you. I promise to cherish and respect you. To care and protect you. To care and to protect you. To comfort and encourage you. To comfort and encourage you. And stay with you for all eternity. And stay with you for all eternity. I have the rings in my pocket. These rings, by their shape, are a symbol of undying love that exists between the two of you. They have no beginning and they have no end, a perfect circle, the substance of which is precious and is a symbol of purity which shall ever characterize your minds and hearts in your relationships together. Your rings are also a sign to others and the world around you that you are already taken and have given your heart to another. Adam, please place the ring on Tara's left hand on her ring finger and repeat after me. Tara, I give you this ring. Tara, I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. As a symbol of all that we share. As a symbol 
of all that we share. With my constant faith. With my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Tara, please place this ring on Adam's finger and repeat after me. Adam, I give you this ring. Adam, I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. As a symbol of all that we share. As a symbol for all of all we share. With my constant faith. With my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Please join your hands. Look into each other's eyes. Listen, think, take it in. May you always need one another, not so much to fill the emptiness as to help each other know of your fullness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with each other and not fail in the little graces. Look for things to praise often say I love you and take no notice of small faults may you have happiness and may you find it in making one another happy may you have love and may you find it in loving one another now that you have joined yourselves in matrimony may you strive always to meet this commitment with the same spirit you now exhibit we all bear witness to this ceremony you have just performed and you may now call yourselves by those old and respected names, husband and wife. May God bless this union. Adam, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Woohoo! <laughs> Friends and family, look at these folks out there. May I now present the new Mr. and Mrs. Adam and Tara Smeaton. Okay, everybody look this way, please.